Here's the stat that will blow your mind. 96% of Fortune 500 companies now use AI daily, but studies show 77% of knowledge workers report AI actually increases their workload instead of reducing it. Why? Because they're using AI wrong. I went from having to prompt AI five times to get something that was almost right, to getting it right in one go, just using the simple prompting framework. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in the next few minutes. Hi, I'm Kian, the AI Productivity Coach, and I've taught thousands of professionals how to use AI effectively in their jobs. And I see so many people give up with AI tools when they don't get exactly what they want the first time around. And if this sounds like you, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the problem is you're not prompting it correctly. So let's fix this. But to start, what exactly is a prompt? A prompt, very simply, is the instruction you give to an AI tool to tell it what kind of response you need. You can think of this like asking a friend for advice. If you say something like, I'm hungry, you'll get a pretty generic response. Whereas if you say something like, I'm hungry, I'm really craving spicy vegetarian noodles and I need it to be within five minutes of my home. Likely, you're gonna get a far more tailored answer. And there are plenty of ways to ask AI for a response. The best responses usually have a prompting framework. What is a prompting framework? A prompting framework is just a structured way of crafting prompts so you consistently get clear, high quality answers. It's kind of like following a recipe. Instead of saying, make something delicious, you basically guide the AI step by step through exactly what you want. So why does structure matter when it comes to prompting? So here's what happens when you prompt without structure. AI tends to fill gaps with generic assumptions. You then waste time rewriting outputs and oftentimes results are inconsistent and unreliable. Whereas with structured prompting, you get exactly what you need on the first try. AI becomes a more reliable work partner and you save errors per week on rewrites. Now, there are plenty of prompting frameworks out there and you may have heard of some already. However, the Ricky framework is my favorite because it's comprehensive but simple and it stands for role, intent, condition, context, and example. Let me show you an example of what it looks like using this framework. First, let's just try it with a simple but bad prompt. Give me marketing ideas for a new coffee shop. And you can see it's given me some answers and given some examples of what we could do, but it doesn't really have any sense of what my coffee shop is and what I'm trying to actually achieve here. Likely you could Google a lot of these responses anyway, and they just show up, they're pretty generic. Let's now try it with the Ricky framework. Act as a local retail strategist with five plus years experience. That's the role. Generate 10 marketing ideas for an independent coffee shop. Intent, keep it under 200 euro per idea, focus on testable approaches. That's the condition. The context, it's suburban Dublin location, heavy commuter footfall, but only busy weekday mornings. And then finally, the example format is hook, cost, test method, and expected outcome. This is the very same topic, but we're getting very specific answers for what we want. And you know, this could be important if you only are working on a certain budget as an example. So we get a way more specific answer, very relevant to our coffee shop and what we're trying to achieve in our budget. Much better than the generic output that we got with the first prompt. If you're finding this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe below. I share AI productivity tips every week to help you save time and not create more work. So why does the Ricky framework help? Here's what most people miss. AI isn't just some kind of search engine. It's very sensitive to context and can change depending on what input and context you give it. When you use this framework, you're not just getting better answers. You're actually telling the AI how to process your request. And each element in this framework controls a different part of the AI's thinking. Rather than searching through all the information in the world, you're actually limiting it to the amount of information, responses, and context it can take in to get you your output. For example, with role, you're acting it to act as a profession with specific experience. This matters because it changes how AI thinks. It could be the difference between asking a quantum physicist versus a Pokemon collector about physics. With intent, you're saying something along the lines of, I need help with this specific goal. The objective is to get this desired result. And this matters because it eliminates guesswork through specifics. For condition, the output must be in this format, tone, or constraints. Without these boundaries, you may find that AI might ramble a bit or give an answer that's way too long or way too short. With context, you're basically giving it the key details and the background that the AI needs to get the answer. Context shapes everything. For example, an email to your boss would look very different to a text to your friend. And finally, example, you might say something like, use the following as a guide and give a sample or a reference. This matters because it shows AI your standards and style 
and basically tells it what you think a good example output should look like. Let's just look at some other examples. Write a thank you email to a client. Even in this bad prompt, it's already asking me for more context that I would have included in the Ricky framework. You really don't get much of an email there and it's not that helpful. Versus this Ricky framework email, basically giving it a lot more instructions for what we want and we're getting a way better email as a result. This one, we may have to tweak certain elements, but we won't have to completely rewrite it like the first example. Now it's your turn. Think of one work task you recently did where AI disappointed you with the result. Write a Ricky prompt for it. Don't worry too much about the structure. Even a basic structure beats perfection 90% of the time. I've also seen many people make the same common mistakes when it comes to prompting. Here are the three you should absolutely avoid. Number one is vague roles. So rather than saying act as a helpful assistant, you should be more specific. Act as a senior financial analyst with Fortune 500 experience. The second one is missing context. Always specify audience, timeline, and what decision this supports. And the third biggest one is no examples. AI can't read your mind. Show it what good looks like. But what do you do if the Ricky framework doesn't get you the exact answer that you want straight away? Check if your intent and context were specific enough, try adjusting your role, or add more detail to your example. Even with Ricky, you might need two to three tries just to get it right, but it's way better than having five plus tries every single time. And you should get better over time using this framework. Now, to be clear, you might not need a framework for every single prompt you do. For example, you might have a quick ask or a quick task where you just need to write the prompt quickly and get an answer. And that's fine. When you need a really good answer with really good context, use this framework. So this framework isn't technical wizardry. It's just good communication. Try this prompting framework today. Take your worst AI result this week, structure it with Ricky and see what the results are like. Let me know what you think in the comments. Was this framework helpful for you? And please make sure to subscribe and follow along on the journey. You now have the framework to turn any tool into your expert assistant. Time to put it to work. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.